everyone. Welcome at this incredible day. For those of you who are new here, my name is Lynn and I share with you all things personal development and spirituality so that you can create the best life that you deserve to live. I am standing here at this beautiful location watching the waves, watching the surfers and honestly it's the best environment to be in. I biked here this morning to come and talk to you about the three signs that you can expect to see when your manifestation is coming. If that's something that you're interested in, then stay around. So the first sign that you can expect to see when your manifestation is coming is probably a sign that you're not expecting me to say, which is something in your life is going to fall apart or is going to let go of you. And one of the reasons why that is, and this is an odd sign, and I understand that it might be a little bit confusing for you to think that <laughs> hey my ma manifestation is coming why does something has to disappear our capacity of everything that we are doing within our lives is is full so you can imagine if you have a cup which is the vessel which is your body it's symbolic for your body and if that cup is full then you can keep on pouring but you cannot contain you cannot contain the new things that are coming into your life because your cup is already full. Your cup is symbolic for your body and your body can handle an X amount of energy. And if you are using your energy already to its full capacity, to your maximum of things that you can handle and deal with, then it means that you need to make space for something new to come into your life. An example of this is when you are asking for love, there are some things in your life that you have to let go of in order for you to make space. So the universe is going to show to you what is no longer serving you. I'm not saying that this happens all of the times when a manifestation is coming through, depending on what it is that you're manifesting, how big of a thing it is then you might have to let go of something else. If you're, for example, wanting to manifest a better job or a more fun job, then you might have to let go of the job that you have right now, which is very logical, but it comes in all forms and all ways, and it can literally be anything. It can be anything that the universe is asking you to let go of first. It can be a belief as well, or anything. It can be anything. And when that happens, don't be scared away because what happens when you're scared away of that, you are asking for your manifestation to come and then it comes and it seems like everything is falling apart at first and you now think that it's not working for you and you're so uh, thrown off by this challenge that is coming your way that you're actually not recognizing anymore that it's part of the manifestation coming to you. So if you get stuck in the challenge, if you get stuck in the thing that you have to let go of or the thing that is falling apart, that the universe is doing for you, then you are lowering your vibration again and therefore you're blocking your manifestation to actually arrive in your life. Sign number two is Actually, the sun is coming up. How beautiful is that? <laughs> the sun is rising. <laughs> Welcome to this incredible day. The sun is rising and so are we. <laughs> All right, the second sign is that you're gonna get some odd requests. This will come in the form of an invitation or someone popping up in your life and asking you to go somewhere to meet somewhere to meet up 
when it's an old friend to perhaps meet up again or it can be anything you're gonna get an odd request that doesn't necessarily connect directly to the thing that you want to manifest but for example if you're manifesting love because love is just such an easy example perhaps someone is going to ask you to go somewhere and because you asked for love Perhaps the universe is preparing you or putting all the right circumstances together for you to finally meet that one person. Or when you're asking for a different job opportunity, perhaps you're invited to, I don't know, this network, networking event. Or you get this request to, of a friend to, to hang out with them and to meet a bunch of new people. And these new people can bring to you an opportunity. All these kind of things, all these odd requests that you get, you can recognize them now. Even if it doesn't make direct sense to the thing that you want to manifest, now you know that the universe is just trying to get you into the events and meeting the right people for you to create or bring to you the thing that you are asking for. So if you're getting an odd request out of nowhere, take it, say yes, go with it. And you might not know now how this is going to lead you to the thing that you want to manifest, but it will manifest <laughs> if you say yes more often to the things that the universe is just bringing to you on a golden platter. The third sign that your manifestation is coming is that you suddenly feel this sense of calm. You suddenly feel that you don't care anymore. You surrender completely to what is happening for you and you trust in the process. Usually when you feel the sense of calm, it means that your manifestation is very close. I had an example of this. I am in a network marketing business and before I made a sale, I had this sense of calmness. I had this sense of I don't care anymore. I let go of the expectations and I'm having so much fun in the process and I trust that whatever is popping up in my reality needs to be there. And you know what happened? Exactly the things that I wanted to manifest now popped up in my reality. And so whenever a manifestation is close, you feel the sense of calmness. You don't worry anymore. You completely detach from the outcome and you're so immersed in the moment and in the process because the universe is preparing you for the thing that is coming into your life. And this calmness actually says that you are truly ready. You are truly ready. You've let go of the attachment, let go of the doubt, let go of the um, why is it not working out for me. You finally let go of all of these things and because you're this calm, you're now receptive. You're not expecting anymore. You, you are expecting, but you're not, you're not attached anymore to the outcome. That is very different. So these were the three signs of how you can know that your manifestation is close and how the universe actually talks to you. So number one, don't get discouraged if there comes any challenge your way because whatever the universe is bringing to you, whatever life is bringing to you, you are ready for it. That's why it's appearing. And if you can deal with these testers that the universe is putting out for you very well, and you will be rewarded. These challenges will never be there if there wouldn't be any kind of reward in return. This is how the universe works. So keep going, keep trusting the process and surrender to the thing that you need to let go of. Number two, if you're getting all the requests, you now know what to do. Go and take that. Take that all the requests, say yes more often and go to the events that you're invited to. Go meet some new people. Listen to the universe and know that even if it's not making sense, somehow this event will lead, lead you to your manifestation. Let the universe guide you. And thirdly, if you feel a sense of calmness, 
you are crushing it it means that your manifestation now is very close and i'm getting shivers all over my, all over my body when i'm saying this because it's the truth when you are calm you are receptive and it means that whatever is happening for you is happening in divine timing and will find you very soon if you have liked this video remember to click the like button so this video will be pushed out to anyone who needs to see this and who is creating their best lives today if you want to be the first to watch all of my videos Monday Wednesday and Friday make sure to click that subscribe button so that you will be the first to watch but for now I am tuning out. We have such an exciting future to look forward to and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.